I've always thought about becoming an engineer uh, since I was growing up. I think I've known for a long time that I wanted to be an engineer. I've always been captured by the big questions. I don't know if I was inspired so much as I was born to do it. Where are we in the universe? Where can we go? What can we see? What can we know? Since I was a little kid, I like to play with Legos. I play around with Legos. I play with Legos and that stuff. Playing with Legos. Everyone likes to play with Legos, but like I really like to play with Legos. The connection Legos led to model rockets, led to robotics in high school, and eventually led here. I, I enjoy solving difficult problems, so that's why I'm, why I'm an engineer. I first heard about SpaceX when the, I heard they were coming to our career fair. I checked out the website and, and saw different videos that they had posted about stuff they're up to and it sounded really interesting, really cool. One of the guys that worked here last summer was having an info session at school and so I just went to that and I talked to him afterwards and he sent my resume along and sure enough, maybe two days later they contacted me and it was a pretty easy process. Just coming in, brand new, you know, I thought maybe get the help on some small part of some assembly maybe. and. But no, you get thrown right in and they expect you to hold up on your end of it and it's pretty cool. So I've had a lot of other jobs and internships, uh, lucky to have those opportunities, but uh, none of my previous jobs have put any of my parts in space. A lot of my stuff is going to space on the very next Dragon vehicle. It's very exciting, you know, I'm glad that I get to be a part of it. One of the projects I was working on was uh, a rotor and a turbo pump. As a matter of fact, right behind me it's, it's being assembled. Uh, in this rocket and so it's really cool to see that. Um, the people that you're going to work with closely, your mentors, um, they are very, you know, very knowledgeable but also very good with teaching you the material. Like I learned so much just following from my mentor. The stuff I've learned about composites, it, it's not just stuff that you can learn in a book. You know, don't be afraid to ask questions and be assertive because everyone here is really helpful and you know, they're willing to help you out and get started. There's always a lot of work to do but there's really a work hard, play hard mentality. The work environment of SpaceX is unlike anything I've seen anywhere. And SpaceX is definitely very uh, fast paced, but it's also um, very casual. Probably what you're wearing right now uh, would be fine for SpaceX. It doesn't seem like work, really. Hang out with good friends, build some rockets, and then go hang out with them later. It's the most laid back, intense atmosphere, if that makes any sense. SpaceX provided a lot of events for interns, like a beach party. There was the aerospace games, free frozen yogurt every day. Most of the interns live in a community called Oakwood, so we're in the same apartment complex. So it's a good place to build community. Uh, in addition to just taking you know, all the engineering classes and, and learning a lot, I learn more than just doing formulas and reading up in a book. Applying is a totally different thing than just, you know, working problem sets. The one thing that I've noticed everyone has in common is interest beyond the schoolwork. What did they do to pursue their passion? Um, for me, that was through Design Build Fly. I was on the, uh, I was on the Human Powered Submarine Design Team. Um, I worked on looking at the, the modal shapes and, and modal analysis of baseball bats. I'm the Chief Engineer for Georgia Tech's Baja SAE. Uh, collegiate racing team. The side of automotive engineers is called Super Mileage. I started off with the robotics club. I moved on to the Google Lunar X Prize. Just being, on, being in organizations in general, just being able to work with people and deal with them, I found that was actually a pretty big part. I never thought that what I was doing there would end up translating to, to SpaceX, but be, after being here I realized that to come in here and, and really be uh, really be effective, you know, it's, it's great to have that kind of background in some type of research or hands-on uh, activities because you're going to use that stuff all the time when you, when you start working. Join any organization to get out there.